Right, uh, welcome to our sources today. Don't know why I'm watching this, but bullets. So, this is my collection. Let's start with the smallest any. This is 9mm. You aren't going to be able to see that, don't want to try that. If that isn't for some break, yep, that'll work. This is 9mm. 30 common cartridge, often named Parabello. 9x19. Developed by the Fritz. Came pretty popular in Europe in the turn 20th century. So yeah, very simple cartridge, very popular, like, arguably one of the most popular calibers in the world after 76239. Next, let's go to this one. This is 38 Police Special. Revolver cartridge. Pretty nice. Not too snazzy, I guess. Most commonly known for its use in police revolvers, but it also then later became fairly popular on the civilian market, especially in revolvers. Yeah, pretty simple cartridge. Then, we have 357 Magnum. I love this round, purely because Fallout New Vegas. Anyways, so. 357 Revolver and the Revolver and the Peter the Peter rifle cartridge originates in 1800s and now I want to go with a quick explanation so you'll notice that this and 38 Police Special have both both have this very weird tip, well, at least weird by modern standards, where it's flat, which is unusual. Normally you want it to be pointy for your aerodynamics. And the reason why is, imagine you've got a common and repeater, the reason for the really special one, for obvious reasons. Look at that. When, when they collide, instead of hitting each other in the primer and detonating, well, they still hit each other in the primer, but don't detonate. I hate each other in the primer and because it's not spiked, like let's say 762 NATO, where if let's where if you jostle them, bang. And your entire magazine just fucking exploded, which will not be fun. <sighs> now next. Five five six. Now I have two 5.56 and you might notice that one on the left is rather silvery. That's because it's steel case. Steel case 5.56, brass case 5.56. Brass case, far more popular, steel case, French. Which means that it's subjectively worse. Anyways, so, the reason why 5.56 steel case even exists is because of FAMAS. See, the FAMAS originally was designed to a bunch of different calibers. And because of that, it wasn't very good at extracting brass cases. It would generally cause a bunch of issues, I'm not going to go into it because I don't have a Wikipedia page yet. And definitely, definitely, just because I'm lazy and not because I don't, can't remember off the top of my head. Please don't say, please don't remember me. Now, oh fuck. 5.56.45, NATO standard. Developed in the 60s off of the 223 Remington cartridge, which is very similar. This is pretty nice bullet. Relatively low recoil. Relatively lightweight as well. Can use it in full automatic very easily, but it doesn't quite match up to 79241, sadly. And finally, the big Medusa. Well, here's the Medusa, sadly. I wish I had the Medusa. 
Anyway, this is 7.62x51 millimeter. Very nice. This is a battle rifle cartridge. You can tell it's very big compared to everything else. And it's 7.62x51 millimeter NATO. This was the original standard cartridge of NATO. Now it's essentially a direct successor to the 30 out 6 cartridge, which is a bit bigger, a bit, bit longer. And I can see why they adopted this, because the Yanks are a bunch of assholes. And you see, the reason why. Oh, he said, come down. The reason why this was adopted is because after World War II, they, NATO was formed in 1949. This, this meant that, this is a pretty big military alliance, it's effectively a large military alliance ever in fact, and if they weren't in wartime, logistics would be easier, because in World War II, it's going to look insanely wrong, but I'm just going to go with it to sake of the argument. We have four different major countries that are all fighting on the Western Front, well actually, just in Europe, just in Europe. So, America, 30 on 6, UK, 303, Russia, 7.54, and uh, France, 7.5. Very similar in diameter. Problem is, is let's say you try and load 303 into a 30 alt 6. Bang, 30 alt 6 and fire for, for an M1, load in a 303, you've just fucked up the gun severely. So, obvious issue. So, how do we solve it? We stand up with this. Now, the British were experimenting on uh, a 4.8, I believe, cartridge, and that was adopted into a rifle called the EM2, which was legally adopted but never really issued in large quantities because, thanks to the Americans, this was chosen. This is 7.6654mm, and it'd be out a lot of more interesting and more cool concepts. Sadly, 7.92, my beloved. You know that? Video is over. Thanks for watching. Do something better with your life, I beg of you.